Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Wildfire Gaming. This is Slowbird. And I'm Tree Trunk Sean, part of the uh, the best channel under 50 viewers. That's right. <laughs> the greatest of all time under 50 viewers. And here's Hans Frat in action for the first time. He's a bitch. For those of you who don't know, Hans killed Fat Assa, our uh, Raticate that we had just gotten as the replacement for the Rattata that the Raticate killed. Right. So, uh, quite frankly, our, our Nuzlocke has been real bump and grind these last, like, ten episodes. And Hans is confused. Actually, no, not the last ten. Since, uh, since the fight against Whitney, yeah. everything has been... It, that the, was a disaster. Yeah, the mood of this Let's Play shifted drastically as that battle went on. Yeah, before that, we were just complaining about my coworkers. Yeah, before that, we were upset about life, but then, uh, then that fight just broke us. But now... We're, well, I, I'm just concerned that we're actually going to die. I'm not really uh, I'm not really tripping about the party we've got at this point. I wish Hans were stronger, but I like having a Magmar. Yeah. Let's Damn hope it. he starts bucking up. We lost the one that had Rock Smash. Sure did. <laughs> that sucks. We had literally just taught Fat Ass a Rock Smash, and now she's gone. Well, we're going to have to go get her back. <laughs> We're not gonna be able to get through this. Uh, Are you serious? Yeah. None of them can learn Rock Smash? Yeah, they can, but Rock Smash is a TM. Oh, we can buy it in Goldenrod. Well, we don't want to cheat. Which, bringing our Pokemon from the dead to smash a rock kind of is. Are you serious? That's ridiculous. I you? Th I think that'd be fine. You think so? Yeah, I mean, it's not like we're gonna have our battle. Yeah, I guess it just, I don't know, it breaks the illusion of her being dead. Well. When we have, when we have a workaround. It is a shitty workaround, but... It's one that's possible. I don't know. I feel like, uh, I don't really... Seeing as nobody leaves us any real feedback on these videos, I don't know uh, how much integrity um, people would expect us to uphold here. Our fans or potential fans. I don't really know what they what they would think about us going back and buying one compared to just using our dead Pokemon. Well, I know what my vote is. <laughs> We're hurt for money as it is. Yeah. And we just lost six thousand dollars catching this Magmar. Yeah. Alright. Fair enough. Wow. We accomplished nothing in the last couple of episodes. Well, we've traded out Pokemon. We've fought a trainer or two. Well, we won the rival battle. That yeah. actually went really well. Yeah, it did. That's probably why we got killed by fucking Magmar. We were too cocky. Of course, actually, no, that was just bad luck. Because it had almost half health. Golly. We've got more Pokemon in the graveyard than I usually catch in an entire playthrough. Yep. That's pretty bad. <laughs> We've been, our levels have kind of stagnated as a result of that. Yeah, they really have. That's, God, that's an issue. Huge issue. Uh, Major problem. Yeah. My chords can't express how big of a problem that is. Yeah. But at least Gatorbait has lived this long. Is he the only member of the team that's been here the whole game? Well, I mean, Obviously. he is. But you know what I mean. Like, the only... Like, the only from the first round of Pokemon. Because everyone else we've gotten that was in our initial party is dead, I think. I'll check. Well, Hans is poison. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I hope we have a cure. I'm sure you do. Um, but, like, Gooseflat died. Uh, Fatata is dead. Rohalov is dead. Moldy Bread is dead. So, yeah, I guess so. Yep. Our entire opening crew. Gooseflat, dead. Sweet, we have plenty of poison healing. Yep, yep. every single person we've gotten, the... Yeah, Mary Jane we got after Dying Breed, so... Everything we've got. I don't gotten, even know which one we've had the longest, besides Gatorade. Dying Breed. Oh yeah, really? Because we got it from Headbutt. On a, on a bush in, in the, the second place, in Azalea. That's the most recent. And then that one, we got... Well, we may have gotten this one first, because we got it in the woods. Yeah, we just didn't use it for a long time. Yeah. Uh, okay, obviously. We just got 
that one. Yeah, I that one's had dead. just gotten that, and it's dead. <laughs> and we obviously got Tree Jerk Shot recently. Yeah. Wow. So everyone, we got a bunch of newcomers in the crew. I'm kidding. And then the the vet, the most vet of vets. Yeah. Hey, I, I got a hand to him. I was talking shit about it at the beginning of the game, but. I feel like now his number his number is coming. Uh, he's seeing all his friends die in battle around him. That usually uh, that usually wears on the minds of the soldiers. Right. We'll switch to him now. I mean, we yeah. I mean, it's only definitely yeah. He needs the grind anyway. I mean, for fuck's sake, this random trainer's Charmeleon is almost as strong as him. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a little worried about it. Really? Slightly. Okay. I think we'll be okay. Yeah. If not, then oh my god. Yeah. If not, then this Nuzlocke is definitely not. Gonna yeah. Make it if if Charmeleon beats this Gatorade. Yeah. That would be over. There we go. That's what we need right there. Some super effectiveness. Yeah. Let's see how. Let's see how effective yours is here. Cool. Not very effective. Good. Boom. Yes. Well, that went well. Yeah. Fire breather dick. Yeah, I know. Wow. They actually turned into ashes. It's so interesting. Huh. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah, I think it's fast. I always noticed that they turned gray as a kid, but I never like thought about it. I only, never thought about it's the It's only ashes, that guy. Though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Turns gray. It's not the other people in this building? I don't think so. I think okay. Just, I think it's just him. Huh. It's just, it's interesting that they did that. That's a lot of effort right there. Little kid me probably thought that was just a glitch. So that guy over there won't? No, I don't think so. Wow. We'll see. I'm pretty sure. X speed, so alright. some money off of that. More drugs. Magmar has done well in this little area, I gotta hand it. Yeah, so far. I mean, he's 15. He's Fire alive. punch is a good move. Yes, fire punch is indeed. So 3,000, uh, what the hell is the currency here? Are they going in Zenny? I don't even know. Pokemon dollars, I think. That's what it's called. Oh. Well, like 3,000 dollars, 3,000 polka dollars of good is Fire Punch. Yeah. According to Goldenrod. Alright, Hans coming up on 16. Yeah, Might just catch the crew in no time. Yeah. Why didn't you get in that hole? Because I want to battle the people over here. Ah. Oh, alright. Rock Smash. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Ratatas. Reminds me of Fatata oh, every time. Oh, can't even go over there. Well, okay. Yay, Erwin. Want a oh, battle? All right. Where the hell are you at? Round 35? I know. Right? That's oh. actually kind of close, isn't it? Yeah, pretty close. Yay, dogs. I bet people who first played this game had no idea what the fuck just happened. <laughs> Yeah. Because they do not look uh, special at all. Well, I don't know. I knew something special had happened just because time froze. Yeah. I can't remember if I knew what was happening or not as a little kid. Because I did get these within the first couple of months of them coming out. They were a Christmas present for me. Um, but I can't remember if I knew what was going on with those things. You know... These games, when they came out for me, uh, were pretty special. Me too. Because... Um, an ice storm happened in Hooks that uh, you know, shut down all the power in the town for like a week. Um, and my family just was like, screw it, we're just leaving. And we went to Nacogdoches. And I didn't get to play with most of my Christmas gifts while I was gone, but I did bring Pokemon Gold. And Silver, actually. Wait a minute, I, have both of them. I got both of them at the same time. Did you play them both at the same time? Yes. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I can't remember why. I don't, I don't know what I did differently. I guess maybe I chose different starters, but I don't really remember. Maybe I actually beat these games more times than I remember as a kid, because I know I had the guide, and I definitely beat both of them pretty soon after I got them. I just can't really remember the details. I was I like six. I sure didn't come even close to beating them, but I do remember playing them a lot, and I love them. Yeah, they were great. It was the first uh, game I ever got on my Game Boy that I cared about, because. Uh... My great grandma gave me a grandma or gave me a Game Boy for free. She just had one. Nice. And but all she had was this casino game for it, and I was like, I don't give a fuck about this. <laughs> Man, I loved my Game Boy. I had a it's like Bionic Commando game, something like that. I can't remember if that's what it was called, but you had a gun and like a grappling hook. I think it may have been a Super Nintendo port. Um, but 
I had that, and I had uh, Wario Land. Uh, those were the first Game Boy games I had, and they were both pretty freaking sweet. And then, of course, I got Pokemon Red, and well, it was it was a done deal. Yeah. There really was. There's probably no handheld game that has ever come out that was even close to Pokemon games, except for Tetris on the original Game Boy because they all came with it. And yeah. It was, what are you talking about? Sales or quality? Just in general. Oh. Just overall. Just the best. Yeah. No end. Uh, well. I don't know. Man, sales all. I mean, I can't think of any mobile games that have or handheld games that have brought me more joy over the years than Pokemon. But I don't know. I always, pretty much most handheld games I've loved have been turn-based RPGs, Chrono Trigger. I've Pokemon. barely played handheld games that are uh, Pokemon. Uh, Golden Sun. Except for Smackdown, was dropping up as well. Um, yeah, I played the shit out of that. I wasn't even thinking about PSP. Um, this guy. Man, I've played a lot of handheld games, actually. Because uh, they're... I've had lots over the years that just didn't stand out to me because I didn't play them that much. But... Did you ever have either of those games that were crossovers between Spyro and Crash Bandicoot? Yeah, I so. I think I actually came kind of close to beating well, both Well, actually, of them, I'm not though. sure that I did, but I definitely had... A spy I'd have a Spyro game for the Game Boy Advance for sure, and it just—it was the first one they ever put on the Game Boy Advance. It might have been the first Spyro game that came out after my favorite Spyro Year of the Dragon. Huh. And I was like, mm, this game sucks. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I had I had both of them, and I don't think I beat either of them. But I oh okay. Yeah. Oh, we don't have strength, right? But yeah, I don't think I beat either of them. They were okay, but those were the kind of random ass games that usually don't stand out in my mind from my childhood. Well, I'd say we accomplished a fair bit for this episode. Did anyone die? Nope. Sweet. All right, so half of the episodes in our session tonight involved no deaths. That's an accomplishment if I've ever heard one. Um, so nobody to drop off in the graveyard in this episode. Actually, oh, wait. Drop off a <laughs> Only an already dead Pokemon to drop off in the graveyard in this episode. Yep. Well, I think that's about as good a time as Anity cut off this episode. Next time, we will uh, maybe fight the Kimono Girls. So, from Wildfire Gaming, I'm Tree Trunk Sean. This is Slowburn. Thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you in the next one.